Hey guys, I'm sharing this video today because um, I've got some thoughts that might resonate with young leader or entrepreneurs, especially who didn't came from uh, well-off backgrounds. If you don't really fit into that category, feel free to clip away from this video. No hard feelings. Um, when I was younger, I was tired of a kid who didn't believe in hitting the books too hard. I had this um, this idea of success didn't solely depend on formal educations. And guess what? I still believe that is true. I mean, not everyone who walks out of a fancy university gate ends up hidden big. Um, even a college dropout can be get a millionaire or someone successful, right? But here is the underrated truth. As I've grown older, I realized that if you want to do well financially and be a skilled leader, you've got to keep upgrading both your hard and soft skills. You might be wondering what the heck are these skills, right? Well, um, hard skills are often referred to as uh, technical skills because they are specific, measurable, teachable abilities or knowledge um, associated with a particular profession or field, whether it's graphic design, cosmetic formulation, programming, foreign language proficiency, or data analysis. And then there are soft skills that ones are not easy to pin down. Um, we are talking about the qualities, um, behavior, attitudes. Um, these are the skills that help you build relationships, work well with others, and navigating those tricky social situations. Think um, communication, teamwork, adaptability, and understanding people's emotions. So you can say that emotionally intelligent people are good at soft skills too. So if you're on the journey to success, remember that it's not just about the books. It's about honing these practical skills and developing those people skills too. You can be a college dropout, but can stop leveraging your skills, right? Why am I telling you this? Well, let me take you back to when I was about 20 years old. Um, that's when I first dipped my tools into the world of entrepreneurship. At that time, I didn't give much thought to acquiring hard skills because I had this notion that I could always hire experts for various tasks. The only hard skill I had was formulating skincare products. Fast forward to when I hit 26, I had to um, pack up and leave my hometown and start my life in a foreign country and then i set up my company initially i just do what i knew the best guess what i soon realized that just relying on my old bag of tricks wasn't going to get into this competitive world life has these funny ways of throwing us crave balls and sometimes giving us starts from the most unexpected places if you're someone who's faced challenges and always striving for a better life. Let me stress how vital it is to keep improving both your hard and soft skills. Um, there is this Burmese saying that goes which basically means that if you are considerate, um, you don't need a fancy degree. But today's world, everyone is hustling so hard to reach their goals. It's like uh, gearing up for a battle. You've got to stock up all your weapons and ammo before the war even starts. You can't expect um, to fight with your bare hands, right? Um, you know, it's 21st century and there are opportunities out there. We can pretty much achieve whatever we set our minds to with the right guidance, hard work, and of course a strong network to back us up. But here's the thing. This advice might not clip for somebody who's never had to start from the scratch due to their situation or background. I mean, I didn't really get it until I found myself in this situation where I had to build everything from the ground. Um, back in Burma, I had no clue because I had a stable business going on. I never thought um, I have to hit the set restart button, but when things went south, I'm figuring it all out from the scratch now. Here's the deal for the 21st century. There are tons of opportunities out there. But one thing you can ignore is that um, you have to keep practicing. You have to keep leveling it up, whether you are a seasoned pro or just starting out. So that's what I want to say for today. 
Thank you for watching till the very end and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.